Hello, students. In today's lesson, we will be discussing comparing numbers using the more than, less than, and equal to signs. Do you remember these signs? I know sometimes they can be so confusing, but don't be afraid. You will master them from today. These signs are used to compare numbers. They tell us if two numbers are the same, if one is more than the other, or if one is less than the other. This is the more than sign. When a number is more than another number, we say that it is bigger or its quantity is greater. Look at John and Mary. John has more mangoes than Mary. This is the less than sign. When a number is less than, it is smaller than another number. It doesn't have as many. Look, Mary doesn't have as many mangoes as John. She has less than. This is the equal sign. Equal means the same. Look, John and Mary have the same amount or the same number of mangoes. Now listen carefully while I explain. When we read, we read from left to right. So if I give you two numbers to compare, you are also supposed to read them from left to right. Let's look at some examples. Let's compare these two numbers. In this example, count the mangoes and see that seven is bigger than three. So you will have to use the more than sign. So it will be read as seven is more than three. In this example, count the mangoes and you will realize the six is smaller than the number nine. So the less than sign you should use to say that six is less than nine all the time. In this last example, count the mangoes and you will detect that none of these numbers is bigger than the next. So the equal sign you should use to say that eight is equal to eight continuously. Listen to this mathematics hack. Imagine these signs were hungry alligators. They're like big males and not small ones. So they always open their mouths to the bigger number. Look, do you see the big gator teeth being used to chomp on the bigger numbers? See, he always turns his mouth to the bigger number no matter which direction it is in. But when the numbers are the same, the gator can't chomp, so his mouth is closed to make the equal sign. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and most of all, have fun learning!